Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another GTA 5 Online video. Now in this video, I'm going to be showing you some secret and rare vehicle spawn locations after the patch 1.22. So, these rare vehicle spawn locations are for the next-gen consoles, working for the PlayStation 4, and also for the Xbox One. So, once you have found these rare vehicles, what you can actually do is sell them afterwards, earning yourself some fast and easy cash. Or what you can do is store them inside of your garage and actually keep them. And of course, you can share these locations around to your friends. So if you guys do go on to enjoy the video, it'd be much appreciated if you can drop a like down below. And apart from that, let's get straight into this. So moving on to the first vehicle, and this is how to find yourself a free customized dubster. Now to get this vehicle, you want to go ahead and press start and head over to this location on the map. So once you are here at this location, your next step is to sit inside of your personal vehicle outside of this little apartment or this little house right here and literally just sit inside of your personal vehicle until the dubster drives past. Now, the dubster will only spawn between the times of 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. Uh, so you want to make sure it's in that time period. And if you're having trouble spawning the vehicle, you know, it's not spawning whatsoever, what you can actually do is press start, go to online and find a new session. So that's what I had to do. I had to find a new session. And once I found a new session, I only had to wait around about two minutes. And as you can see, a dubster is now driving up the street. So you want to go ahead and pull the NPC out of the vehicle. And then once you have got yourself the dubster, you can now store this straight inside of your garage. Now, once you store this inside of your garage, what you can actually do is get more of these vehicles. So uh, as you can see, in my garage, I actually have three dubsters. I have three of these dubsters. So I'm going to be telling you how to get more. So if you want to get more of these vehicles, simply get inside of any one of them. From here, we can now drive the dubs outside of our garage. Now, once you drive the vehicle outside of your garage, make your way back over to this location on the map. Now, because we're already driving a fully customized dubster, this is going to allow other dubsters to spawn in the area. So to simply take the route that I'm taking right now with the cursor, keep doing that over and over again while you're driving your customized dubster. And as I said before, this is going to allow other dubsters to spawn in the area. So it's going to be 10 times faster. And once you've got the vehicle, you can actually store this away inside of your garage, or you can sell this at the Los Santos Customs for around about $23,000. And it's not really a big amount, but if you have a full 10 car garage, you know, full of these dubsters right here, and you sell them one by one, you'll be gaining some nice and fast cash by doing that. So moving on to the next vehicle, this is gonna mean how to get yourselves a free customized Sentinel. And I've got to say the Sentinel spawns in a lot more frequently than all of the rest of the vehicles, such as the dubster. The dubster is quite rare to spawn in, but the Sentinel is really good. So here's the location on the map. Uh, as you can now see, right next to the Eclipse Towers and Tinsel Towers, kind of in the middle. And you want to come to this location between the time of 11 p.m. to around about 4 a.m. And that's when the Sentinel is going to spawn in. So go ahead and drag the NPC out of the vehicle and then drive this over to your garage. You're going to be storing this away. Okay, guys, so once you have stored the vehicle inside of your garage, uh, you can do the same thing like you did with the Dove. So you can get back inside of the Sentinel that you just found. You're going to be driving this outside of your garage. So once we exit the garage, head back over to that same location where you found the vehicle and you can keep doing that same little process over and over again. It doesn't really matter how many times you do this uh, because as I said, you could fill up your whole garage with these vehicles. But just to show you one more time, I'm going to drive the Sentinel around this corner. And as you can see, another vehicle has spawned. This time it's going to be the blue or kind of like a neon purple version of the vehicle. And then this one has more upgrades on it. So if you actually find this one, it's going to look a lot nicer than the yellow version of the car, and it also sells for more down at the Los Santos Customs. So I think the yellow one sells for around about $12,000, and the blue one right here sells for $17,000. But let's move on to the last location, and this is how to find yourself a bunch of different muscle vehicles, like upgraded uh, muscle vehicles. And I'm going to press start and show you the location. It's just outside the Los Santos Customs, the main Los Santos Customs in the city. Uh, in the parking lot right here, that's where the vehicles are going to spawn. So, as you see, I managed to find myself an upgraded Ruiner. And by the way, these vehicles only spawn in between the time of 7 a.m. and also 12 p.m. or 12 in the afternoon. So, at the same location, I managed to find myself a upgraded Sabre Turbo. So, as you can see, we're going to go ahead and steal the vehicle. Uh, once again, all the upgrades on there, it's got the engine sticking out the front, some new rims. It's also got a little spoiler, I think, and also the roll cage. So, I can go and sell the vehicle and store this away. And if you want to know how much the Sabre Turbo sells for, it sells for around about $15,000. 
uh, which is more than the Varuna. I think the Varuna sells for around about $9,000, which isn't that much at all. So the Sabre Turbo is, again, one of the vehicles that sell for a decent price, which you can find off the street. But that is about it, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, it'd be much appreciated if you can drop a like down below. And also tell me if you want to see more, you know, rare vehicle spawn locations. All you got to do is leave a comment down below. And also, if you're new to my channel, definitely subscribe as I do upload all the latest GTA 5 glitches, rare vehicles, and all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys on my next video.